How about your relationship with the members of your band diet and also with Chef Young? Because I know sure. obviously uh, both are were partners in Megadeth, but yeah. I mean, were you always in contact or did the contact start recently? Well, um, so with Jeff, um, obviously we go back to 1987 when he was brought in from uh, my friend Jay Reynolds, uh, guitar player from the band Malice. Um, we had contacted Jay or talked to Jay about joining Megadeth, and I guess technically he had, and then realized, you know, the guitar work was, was, it was, it was a little out of character for what his type of playing was. So, um, he introduced us to Jeff initially to just come in and maybe write and play some solos and work on the record. And, you know, once, once he did, we're like, look, we'll just keep Jeff. Jeff's a great player. Um, so, um, You know, so we did the next, you know, year and a half together through the whole tour that ended uh, in late eight, 1988. Um, we began writing some new stuff, but in, we never did anything with it. And then, you know, at that point, we parted ways and he wasn't in the group. I really didn't talk to Jeff. I guess I contacted him to be part of uh, the uh, VH1 Behind the Music special for Megadeth back in 2001. Hmm. Um, so I got him and Chris Poland to participate in that along with my mom. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, so that was probably the first contact, you know, uh, and I don't remember even how, I, I think I got all of them, unless management did, I can't remember, but I've got kind of stayed in touch with all the former me members. Um, and then, you know, a few years ago, Jimmy DeGrasso and I were playing at the NAMM show, you know, Jimmy, uh, got me the gig playing bass for Ronnie Montrose. Uh, back in around 2007 or so mm -hmm. and uh, I did that gig for a couple of years and um, Ronnie died and then so now at NAM every year in January uh, in Anaheim they do a, a sort of a tribute show I think it was his girlfriend throws it called uh, Ronnie Ronnie Montrose remembered right mm -hmm. so I played at it a couple of years and one year I look over and Jeff, Jeff Young is over there with his flying V. I'm going, Oh my God, this is too funny. Like got like Gilby Clark and Brad Gillis and all these hot shot guitar players and Jeff's over there. So we do the big high five. It was the first time we'd seen each other. I mean, mm -hmm. literally hadn't seen each other since, in, you know, 1988 or 1989. Right. Um, yeah. so, um, you know, our reconnection was, was pretty cool. Um, Uh, after that, I didn't see him again. And for, you know, gosh, years, almost a decade, I guess. And so then I reconnected with him last year. Um, January 2022 was kind of a magical year because that also leads into Dieth. But to finish up with Jeff Young here first, you know, we um, we had reached out to him to participate in the, the documentary film we're doing for Nick Menzo. And um, so we got reconnected. We went to dinner and he started humming these riffs that we were working on from back in 1988. <laughs> and so we went in the studio um, a few weeks later and cut these four songs. Uh, or we, no, I shouldn't say we cut them. We, we did demos of them. We just we basically wrote them and kind of had these, these scratch demos. Um, and so a month after that, he calls me to come out and, do a tribute to the big four with the ultimate jam nights that uh, Chuck Wright from quiet riot hosts. And, uh, and that, that's what started Kings of thrash is from there. You know, um, it was an idea that I'd had for about six or seven months to try to put something together with Chris Poland or, you know, something to go out and play. Uh, Killing is my business. Uh, I just felt like that album needed to be played, you know? Um, so it's ironic. Then Jeff and I connect and, You know, now we've written some new songs together. Now we're out, you know, playing, paying homage to uh, So Far So Good So What, Killing Is My Business. So, you know, Kings of Thrash is born. Um, but what also happened in this, in January of 2022, is I got an email from my friend Opus, uh, who plays drums in a band out of Connecticut called uh, Dead by Wednesday. And I put a record out for them on Combat Records, and he's also played drums for me in some of my Ellison solo group. And um, when me and Frank Bello from Anthrax, we had our band Altitudes and Attitudes, he played drums for us. So uh, Opus hits me one day and says, hey, um, <clears throat> introducing me to Galerme, um, mm -hmm. the guitar player in, in Dias, right? So he says, hey, you know, would you guys meet? He's got some new songs. 
wonder if you might play bass on something. So, um, you know, he sent me the song. It became in the Hall of the Hanging Serpents. And um, I flew here to Gdansk, Poland. Uh, a couple months later in April of 2022, we shot the video here. I'd never met Glenn May. I'd never met me all. I've, you know, yeah. I've done this before. I've literally flown across the country. This is the first time I'd flown across the world to uh, sight unseen, just meet some new musicians, make some new friends. and mm. um, But, you know, this is how it's done, man. I mean, if you're a musician and, and anybody that's watching this, you know, sometimes it's, you know, you drive across town to get in a jam room or get on stage with someone in jam or you're invited to play in church or, you know, play at a fucking karaoke bar or whatever it is, you know. Mm. I mean, it, yeah. it, 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 in, my, in my case, it's, you know, go to LA with Jeff Young and go to Poland with fucking Dieth, you know, but it's, <laughs> it's, this is, you know, it's, it's how we started Megadeth. You know, I went from Minnesota, I drove out to LA with this sort of blind ambition, but this sort of calling in my heart and I knew it in my gut, I needed to get there. And I, a week later, I meet Dave and next thing you know, we're starting Megadeth, you know, so this is not unusual for me. And I realized that, um, this is how this is how this works, you know. You you yes. go you go you know you go where the phone calls you to go to, you know. 